Okay, everyone, so because my original audio um, is shitty, I'm just going to go through and redo the audio and um, to just put in the original soundtrack as I feel f as I feel fit, and yeah. So basically this game, Black Mass, is, is created by the same people who did the um, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, Ooops. And it's got the same type of uh, gameplay mechanics in there as in the uh, giant hordes. So let's see here. I was originally just describing how to play a game. Um, if you do read down at the bottom, it says, uh, please be patient. Clicking at 90% causes Windows to think the allocation has stopped responding. That's pretty standard with early access games and games that are still in alpha and beta f phases. That kind of stuff happens. So once the game loads in, We'll show you some gameplay. Okay, so the game loads in. You can go through this little loading screen here. All right, so you wake up in this little wooden shack here. Graphics are, they're pretty decent. I mean, obviously not going to be the greatest thing in the world, but for this game, they're decent. Oh, yeah, you're on a ship. That's right. So you're on a ship, you can see the side of it exploded, go up down the screen, wake up. Yeah, graphics aren't the greatest, but they're pretty decent for a game. Ooh, nice white light, you have been chosen. We got this weird mark on the back of our hand. I think we will either pass out again or just goes into the game and we passed out again. Okay. All right. Right here, what had happened was um, I still had my HOTUS, my hands on throttle and stick, and my pedals still um, attached to my computer. So, because of how my pedals were set up, it just caused me to spin around in circles. So, I'm going to stop here and go to where I'm not spinning. Adjust things like that. That. So if I keep it in the All right, so I got it to where I was no longer spinning around because I just figured hey, I gotta unplug this thing. So running around, um, just trying to figure out what I can, what I can't pick up, where I'm supposed to go. Um, and this is also pre uh, major update that they just did recently as well. Here I'm just going through the controls because obviously as you can tell the tutorial doesn't really tell us much about the controls so I was going through those reading those real quick all that fun stuff so once I was done with that just kept looking around um, normally you should be able to pick up like that knife there uh, I don't know it's just because I didn't I have to go through this building right here first see doors locked can't open it, so spent some time running around like what I'm supposed to do. There is a little bit of a parkour element in the game. Um, it's not the greatest parkour. So you hold space to jump, make sure you climb and pressing forward to climb up. It's not that great. It it really isn't. It clutches out a lot. And then see just picked up a table knife, which is a throwing weapon. Uh, see I was like uh, how can I get equipment? I didn't realize it was a it was a throwing weapon, so I'm just trying to figure things out. Yeah, crafting and alchemy weren't unlocked yet. They're still not unlocked. Um, yeah, you still have to. We're still waiting for those to be unlocked. So, hopefully, once crafting and alchemy are unlocked in this game, it's for a long. We get to uh, craft some cool stuff. Maybe some weapons. Maybe some throwables. Uh, ammo would be nice. Alchemy that'd be uh. A good thing to have as well, um, being able to just um, create potions and whatnot. That'd be cool. So the lantern is really nice. It lights up a whole big area. So that's one thing I liked about the lantern. Um, sometimes I'll just leave it on and just run around the game with the lantern on because it does light up a lot of space too. And if I remember correctly, I think the game has a day-night cycle I don't remember off the top of my head 
I believe it does. I believe the game does have a day-night cycle as well. So, yeah, so here I'm just going through the little uh, quote-unquote tutorial. Uh, going through buildings, you can go through drawers. Again, not the greatest graphics or everything, but overall, I enjoy it. Uh, what I like is that they highlighted pick items that you can pick up, which makes it a lot easier to notice things. Um, also, in doing what any gamer would do, you always gotta look around every little thing. Uh, it's funny things. Whenever I get a potato, I would uh, just quote. Um, I don't remember who it is from. I think it was Dean from uh, Peanut Butter Gamers uh, Minecraft Hardcore series. One of their opening videos. I th can't remember which season it was. Uh, I think it was Dean Jill. I got a potato. So anytime I might get a potato for like the first couple uh, times I do that. So you can see parkour, climbing. Again, decent, not the greatest thing ever, so I'm trying to figure out where do I go from here. So, yeah, didn't realize there were stairs. The doors are, I hate the doors, because you, you run, you go open up a door, and it slams you right in the face. Not fun. There is one of the possessed, uh, or zombies. Uh, he does attack you, but not yet. So, I'm go up here. I'm just and looting the place which is really good um, one thing about the update though that I don't like is um, I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this problem but when I grab when I load back into the game now I no longer have any ammunition so no bolts or uh, musket shot and I also have no um, throw bolts so None of the table knives or the uh, uh, grenades or little bombs or whatever they're called. So, I, so those are no longer in the toilet. Like they completely disappear. So yeah, these guys come at you. This is only level one possessed. I've hit level 18 possessed right now. And you can tell my attack's pretty weak. He did five damage. Just beat him with an ore. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pause it here and then just pick up again here shortly. All right, so here I'm just running around, uh, heading towards my first, well, technically my second mission, which is get to the uh, safe zone area. And defensive, pressing S, uh, F for uh, defense. I really don't use it that much. I think the only time I really ever used it was here during the uh, quote-unquote tutorial. Yeah, that's literally the only time I've ever used it. And the ore is honestly like one of the weakest weapons in the game. So yeah, first time running into two, as you see, I'm getting away. It's an apple I believe to heal up and bash. You hold down the attack button, and bash him with a strong attack. See so your heavy attack and just clicking it is weak attack. So yeah. Couple possessed. The possessed don't drop anything. Um, hope they fix that. They create that kind of a loot system and add that in there where you can where they drop like, I don't know, something. Not really sure if they drop food or something like that. That'd be nice. Um, one thing I did notice about this game is the windows. You cannot see into the windows. But I think once I go inside, well, once I take care of these possessed here, you should be able to see out of the window. So that's something that's a, that's a little odd. I'm not entirely sure why you wouldn't be able to see in the windows. You can see in some windows though, but not all the windows. So I'm just going to beat this guy to death. Using the old uh, strafe around and beat, or back up and get close. I think I was running into a fence there. So just leveled up, level 2 now. I think currently I'm level almost 30 in my current game. So these blessings, they, they're they a lot bigger now. They go all the way up to apply changes now. Uh, so you get 2 points per level. And that isn't unlocked yet, so we can't get that. So, I think, so endurance is a good one to have. 
and as you can see there's little lines that just, just that's just there to basically say hey you're leveling up this this skill oh, excuse me leveling up this base skill so as you go through the game you're gonna find these uh, documents now pre-update all the documents I have next next to them at the bottom and they wouldn't always there wouldn't be a second page It'd just be one page so that was annoying at times um, but you just gotta read it and go through and it's written in cursive so if you don't really know how to read cursive that well um, it is a little bit of a cur learning curve there Luckily, I do know how to read cursive, so that didn't affect me as much. A femur bone, you, it's a weapon. Yeah, see, like I said, you can see outside the windows, but you can't see in them when you go in there, when you're looking from the outside. So, basically what I do is I just go through, I'll loot all the buildings and everything, and I'm just going to pause the recording here and pick it back up when things get interesting again. So here I got to the uh, village I was supposed to get to. I spent lots of time just looting a house, a lot of looting. You see the crossbow, the bolts drop really far, so you have to aim really high up. And they do do um, penetrate through two enemies, and then you can also increase the penetration as well. So here I'm just testing out the crossbow. Let's see, And I read that on one of the uh, forms as well, is that the cr that, uh, crossbows and everything, they... Uh, penetrate through at least two enemies so that was a very nice thing to have um, so uh, this video is getting close to the end um, you see I got myself a nice little sword that was a very good find I think it's just a what's the weapon? yeah it's just a rusty sword uh, I've got an iron sword constantly yep so this is where I got in here got into the safe zone and I talked to the priest and like any game you always check for loot first see a book I did not even read that book I started reading it but I just clicked next 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 and closed it I talked to the guy all right ask what happens he says they're all possessed we tell him what happened to us um, yeah, you ask him, hey, can we get off this island? Is there any f other people around? It's like, oh, head to Fort Wyver. And yeah, so this is where I'm going to leave this video, and I'm going to get the next video ready, and where we run into Fort Wyver, and we run into our first horde, which is a lot of fun. Okay, um, let's go to 23 again. Just need an update. <laughs> um, what the hell did I just walk into? Oh my god. Can I make toggle sneak true? What? Oh shit. Yeah, no shit wrong way. Oh my god. Where close shall I touch on this rock? So as you can see, I just ran into a giant horde here, and uh, my goal the first time I tried to take them out was just like, all right, I'm gonna see if I can't lure them all to this rock here that I'm standing on, because as you can tell, some of them can't get me. Yeah, that plan didn't work out too well, and 
that and the fact that I have to use so many arrows right here before I realize that I could crouch and just whack him with my sword. Um, yeah. This was going to take me way too long, actually. I think, yeah. See, I was standing. I wasn't crouching. If I was crouching, I could probably not. So my goal is to just try and kill him, get him as close as possible to me. But yeah, this is this is the horde mechanics in this game. Like, they they get bigger than that too. Like that's a that's a pretty decent sized horde though. Like, I've ran into some. There's one that I ran into that's bigger. As you can see, game mechanics. I'm clipping through the wall, and I'm getting hit by a zombie. I can't get down. I'm kind of stuck right now. So yeah, it's still some work. Things be done. Let's go chill on my rock. Yeah, I will show you what happens next. Okay, so trying my other rock trick didn't work, and so I decided to run around, and I kind of ended up on this rock in the middle. As you see, I think I kind of uh, uh, effed up. I'm trying to swear, uh, kind of messed up here. Um, yeah, I'm completely surrounded, and they just keep coming. Oh, and there's possessed knights too, which have big swords. The swords aren't fun. So actually, I think I did die on this run through, uh, trying to get through them, and I went through a lot of ammo. Like I only have what is it? Yeah, 25 crossbow bolts. But I mean, I'm level eight here now, so this is like a great way to level up in the game is by taking out hordes, but I found out a lot better way to do it. Uh, there's another rock. You can actually kind of see it, yeah, right there up near um, the health bar where that one tree is chilling. Um, that rock up there is actually where I learned that if you crouch down and you have a long enough weapon, you can just start bashing their heads in and taking them all out. That's eventually how I took out this entire horde, was using that rock and like one or two others to take out this entire horde for no other reason than I could. So I'm pretty sure it's probably in this video somewhere I'll have to check. Um, actually I don't think it is, this video is only about 22 minutes long. So it's not in this one but I know I have it somewhere but I will let you know if I find it and I will show you all how I did that. Alright so this is my second or third attempt to take out the horde I don't remember. So this is the first like rock cliff area that I chose to uh, take him out. You can see I've already taken out a bunch. The bodies are just stacked everywhere. There's blood all over the place. Um, it took me a good long while to, to clear them out. And you can see I'm already level 14. Like hordes are a great way to level up. Um, but I didn't keep them all here. So I like I said, I found a, that other rock that was perfect for taking out the hordes and everything so um one thing that charge shot that i had on the arrow it's garbage i hate it i really don't like it i prefer the flame shot which does like a little explosive damage like that um you can see i have a lot more crossbow bolts uh, but i didn't have well i have a decent amount of repair kits but not that many only not even a hundred so those kind of held me back here but this is a really good time taking all these zombies I found that cool axe which I actually don't have anymore that's another thing that got removed when I uh, when the update came out I no longer had in my inventory or the or my peasant sword either so that that wasn't fun uh, having those removed either but like I said this was a lot of work a lot of work probably a couple at least two, maybe two hours I'd say probably two hours it took me to get through all these hordes and whatnot so yeah that's a long time uh, I really do encourage this game um, like I said you're gonna be if you want like quick level up strats and a way level up using the rock trick to using rock count heck even using boxes to get up like just above these zombies reaches and just swing at them using the uh, not the rage charge but the uh, fire strike to get them and like I'm just showing like how many zombies I killed and how many more I still have to go and this is all by myself so these this horde took me quite a bit other hordes not as long because I was obviously a lot more leveled up especially after the update you, you can 
uh, moved his skills to were a lot stronger, and the hordes took a lot less time because of how I was able to take them out a lot faster, a lot more efficiently, and hit more than one, two enemies at a time. So yeah, I uh, do recommend this game. Uh, there's a lot coming out to update. The map is huge. There are some things I wish they would add as well, but maybe they're already working on adding them as well. Um, this is Dakota 3 out. Hope you enjoyed the video. So cute. Damn, so good shot. So yeah, um, we'll see how well I do. If I'm able to actually clear out this board, I don't think I'll be able to, but I know I'll be able to put one heck of a dent in it. I'll let you know how that goes here. Hopefully shortly.